Hey friends, I'm Craig. Welcome to the Barefoot Forge and on today's episode we're going to fix the locks and the window that I broke with a sledgehammer when we got the car. Uh, if you're just tuning in, we're restoring a 1987 four-wheel drive camper van made by Volkswagen. This thing's going to go on some crazy adventures once we're done and I've done a bunch of these so stay tuned and learn a little. This episode's not the most exciting but maybe you'll love it so hit the like and the subscribe and I don't know, better stuff's coming. Cheers. You guys want to see how a sliding door panel comes off? This one's not ruined yet. We can actually get this back up here and glued back on without damaging it. So, we've got these clips. First, you want to start by taking this uh, door handle off, Phillips head screw. Take a panel puller. Try to sneak it back in there. With this. Good. Okay, I think we can save this. It's a little torn, but whew, they get a whole lot worse than that. Let's take a look back here for a few observations. First off, fiberglass insulation. This is what holds the water and causes rust. Though there is no rust down in here. Those look real nice. See this? This is some application of wax oil. So they sprayed this in cavities and it looks like they sprayed it it looks like they sprayed it through there before the doorknob was put on. So that's interesting. This is this is what saves these cars. This is very important. So what we're doing today is pulling this screw off, which holds the exterior doorknob on. That way we can get the key code off it so we can have keys made for this car. So next. That screw is usually Loctited on pretty good because uh, no, it tends to come loose. So, let's see if she'll come off for us. Oh, yeah. And then the door handle pulls straight out. There we go. So, if we look at this, we can see that this seal, there's a little, like, this would have been a soft neoprene seal that goes around it. That's all ruined. And then there's a a bezel seal that goes in here on the outside of the body that is also pretty thoroughly ruined this portion of it so we need another one of all of that now to get the actual key code it's going to be on the lock itself and uh, I don't want to show you guys the key code it is the outer echelon the rubber gasket that goes for the sliding door and these always go bad so make sure you replace this they're cheap we just replaced the window um i broke this window intentionally because it's just two bolts to remove and i had a spare and now we have a window this should work let's see oh, yeah. it wasn't tight enough there we go see all sealed up awesome That's your front door gaskets see this one's all nasty that one's basically dissolved too it's a pretty easy job they don't last that long but certainly not 30 years with the door open you'll see a little indent right here that's where the screws at so you have to pull this seal back and usually you have to pull pretty hard because it's glued in and that's our screw we have the screw out now it's time to take the handle off handle just pulls forward like that just push forward then this end will pull straight out and that end will cam out so you gotta go forward and then out now you have it off clean it up these areas around the gasket with a little sem solve that's this stuff if you don't have any of this glass cleaner should work get that nice and clean Pretty critical piece that's usually missing it's a little piece of foam and it should actually be a little wider but that keeps all the water from getting out I bet you that's missing on yours I don't have a suggestion on where to get that you could probably use some hobby foam the aftermarket seals they're made uh, by VW um, classic parts uh, JP group they're kind of garbage so this is all you can get from everyone but they're much harder than the factory ones and they don't last that long just letting you know. With the new seals on, we just do the opposite. Put this end in, get it pivoted, put that end in, 
this little guy sometimes struggles a little bit. Get him centered up and then pull it back. Locking it all in. See that fits not that great. It's in. Now we just put our screw back in. up the door handles with some Samsol and I'm seeing this. See that? And then right there. That looks like overspray, which would give me some indication that this door handle was taped off, meaning they painted this door, but there is absolutely no other evidence that this door was painted. That's right up to the seal. There's no signs of it over here. I don't know. We'll see once we clean the door, but that's a little interesting. The next challenge is repairing this door panel. It, I don't know, the glue came off. Now it's all wrinkly. There was some evidence of some form of foam back here, but it was probably very, very, very thin. So I bought this upholstery foam and it's way too thick. So I don't know that it really needs foam back there. So we're gonna just try to stretch this out, get kind of the wrinkle out of it. Hopefully that works. This works pretty good. I just hit it with a heat gun, stretched it back out, and I haven't glued it yet, but it got all the wrinkle out, definitely took up the space where this was supposed to have some foam. I mean, it's it's really good. So now I let it cool down, then I'm gonna pull these clamps off, fold this back, spray some 3M90 contact on both surfaces, two or three coats, let it tack up and then do this and pull it and do that, hopefully. Just pulling the sliding door handle off again to add this foam seal. We forgot about that before, didn't have it. That's very important. You want to make sure you have that little foam seal on there. It's almost always gone. Well, thanks for listening to that. I don't know. We had to fix the locks. We had to fix the window. And we had to figure out how to make these videos. It's episode two. Trust me, it gets better. We're way ahead on filming. So stay tuned. Talk to you soon. Cheers.